question number 20. Figure 5 shows part of a radioactive decay series. Uh, so we have the figure 5 uh, labeled x axis represent atomic number, the y axis represent the mass number. So we have a uh, 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 nucleid uh, x, y, z, and k. Uh, part A of the question we are told write an write a nu uh, nuclear equation for the formation of nucleid K from nucleid X. Uh, so from X from X to uh, from uh, that is nucleid from X. So this is our X and this is our K. So what will happen here is that uh, there will be rows of uh, alpha particle. Uh, which is uh, alpha particle is uh, he that is uh, 4 and 2 there will be rows of that so the equation we have uh, if you look at uh, our x uh, we take that is our x uh, the mass number is 213 so we have 213 and the atomic number if you come here it is uh, 83 so what happened in the decay is that uh, uh, this will uh, because uh, when uh, when we have a rows of uh, alpha particle, uh, the it reduces the mass number by four. So this is two that. And if you subtract four, you have two or nine. This is our k, and uh, and the number the number and the atomic number by two. So atomic number it will be reduced by two. So we have uh, eight uh, three. So that is eight uh, three. Uh, then we have plus the electron. So, so this is zero minus one. We have electron plus uh, the. This is the alpha particle, which is uh, we write uh, four and two, and we have he. So that is the equation. Uh, that is the way you write the equation and you'll be able to get uh, one mark. Part B, the half-life of nucleid X is 47 minutes. Determine the percentage of nucleid X that remains after 188 minutes. Uh, so, uh, what you do here is, uh, because half-life is uh, 47 uh, for 188 minutes, minutes you divide by you divide by 4 uh, 47 that is the half life you'll be able to get uh, that is four halves and because we are being asked to, to get the to determine the percentage uh, if you take a hundred uh, if it divides by two it will be that is a hundred percent it will be fifty percent if it divides by two it will be 25 percent so this is one two if it divides again uh, the third time it will be 12.5 and the fourth time uh, we have 6.5 and uh, this is 6.25 6.25 when you divide 12 by 2 it is 6.25 percent so that's correct uh, the other one method you can use is uh, you can use uh, say x uh, after the first one it will be half x that is the amount of uh, x after half life one half life the other one it will be uh, one over four x a quarter will remain the other one it will be one over eight uh, x this is x and finally we have uh, 1 over 16 X so what what is one percentage 1 over 16 you say it is equals to 1 over 16 times 100 and you get is equals to 6.25 percent so that's how you do that question you get yourself three marks